We're back to normal with Balding. I was going to sign off. I just took a shower. Something occurred to me in the shower, and I want to speak to you about it. <clears throat> Someone who spoke to me recently, they had a restrictive line. I'm Bear Mode radio broadcaster, normal with Balding. Things to concern yourself. I want you to concern yourself with generosity. That's it. These are things of interest that reflect the absence of that concern. <clears throat> Had a restricted line. Nobody has a restricted line. It's because they can't use it in court. Doesn't mean they can't listen. I'm not allowed to listen. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Mom and Dad do a lot of things they ain't allowed to do. Bring it here. <laughs> I ain't allowed to bring it here, that's for sure. Now, I thought, why do you want a restricted line? Why don't you want the government, why do you want the central intelligence over here? Yet? What are you up to? And here's the main thing you're not allowed to do here. Cause anxiety, fan it, and live off of it. Not allowed to do it. I don't care who you are and what you're up to. And the marketing does that, of course. I, as far as I'm concerned, your marketing is more than any of your narcotics or... Even your religion and stuff is just knee deep in it. Only the market is the main doer of it. Now, what leads the market in the psychological? And I think they hire the psychology done. It's your advertising industry. It makes the drug pusher look like a child uh, with a lollipop in its mouth. These people are vicious. Absolutely. And will cause anxiety and take every dime. You all look like kids four years old on a school ground. And they're not handing it through the fence. They're in your mind and among you very much by method and philosophy. And you buy it by tradition and force it into each other like an injection by method. This is not new. Sorry, it is not new. This position has been around a long time, and humans have been manhandling you in it. You're very much into anxiety. Ha! Huh. So inhibited you can't see. Your own hand in front of your face. You don't know the right from the left. Your maker wouldn't judge you any of the things you're calling yourself at all. Anxiety causing living off of it. Not allowed to do it. Now, drugs and, 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 to me, the doctor and the insurance company are knee-deep in it more than any drug pusher. If you get a hold of drug pushers, they ain't pushing. Huh. A lot of times they're hiding. And too many of them. Drug-selling human beings. Except possibly the cannabis. The other narcotics, I don't know anybody about heroin seller. I know a little bit about others from being around people. And the little brushes I've had. They're not wicked people at all. No, they ain't. Most of them, well, they want to do something else. They wouldn't do it if they weren't. There was something else for them to do. Believe me, that was the least thing they'd ever do. Want to bet? Especially, I'm telling you, that even, I bet even the um, painkillers, which is your main killer right now is your your pharmaceutical painkillers. The drug intake lady said there used to be, we thought marijuana was the, they called it the intake drug. Now it's the pharmaceuticals and they're headed for heroin. She told me that five years ago, six years ago. Situation with my, counseling with my daughter. We had something quite different in her issue. In her case, it's traumatic stress disorder and that's what the drug lady said. She's not drug addicted. She. Driven stupid. The logic is gone. She's toast. Logic wise. She has the right company around. She's fine. I put her alone and put her under pressure. Her logic is gone. She's like that poor kid in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Remote post. Too remote. Logic beat up. Was that young man in Afghanistan that you have all these rotten names for that couldn't be so? He's a soldier 
with how many tours, United States military, he could be any of the visions you have in your head of him. No, he can't. Want to bet? What, am I the only one that remembers the vision of that young man? Am I? His wife, his kids. Well, let me tell you, you don't look at him through the vision of his wife and children. You never saw him. You don't know anything about him. If you say, ah, oh, their vision don't matter. Really? Oh, they're really deceived. Could you deceive your wife and kids as a dad? Can you? My dad didn't, and they accused him of it. I look back now, my dad would never see nobody. But the crybabies accused him of it. They're still doing it. He's dead gone years ago. They're still saying crappy things about the man. Horrible! I missed everything about him. And will day the die. See that, my sibling will. I don't know my mom did. She was knocking him one night. I said, where were you the night I was conceived? He's so bad. How the hell did he ever get you in the mood for me? That man's so horrible. Why did he trick you? She never ran him down again. She had run him down for 40 years. And like I said, after he was dead. I got sidetracked. You can see, though, I've had my nose rubbed in a few things, and it becomes quite obvious when you look back and recognize that, and you look around and you see it everywhere. It's pretty easy to run and remind you. There it is again. There it is again. There it is again. <laughs> there it is again. Oh, there it is again. I've been here so many times. <laughs> you are reincarnated. No, I'm not. You are this. No, I'm not. You are no. You are no. Uh, oh. <laughs> not any of that. Miss me again. None of that. <laughs> so many times.